Okay, so I started on this guy yesterday and I'm gonna work again on it again today. Uh, I had to actually go to CAT to get the parts, so we'll discuss that here in a minute. But this is a 2006 270 257B. Um, first thing I started with is I'm going through this engine compartment here and everything, and I'm gonna clean it out, and then we're gonna replace this guy right here, we got some um, hydraulics in there that need to be fixed. So what I did is I started off by taking out the bolts in here. You notice these bolts right here, I got them. All right, it's on that side, uh, on this side, and then we're gonna lift this guy up, okay? So we'll lift this cab up. Make sure that I lifted it really slowly, to make sure I didn't have anything that would get fouled or anything in here. Uh, I did put the boom up all the way. Um, yesterday when I get, went to put this down, I kind of found a safety mechanism that I wasn't smart enough I didn't, or I didn't have enough information about when I was trying to put it down. And I actually thought one of these hydraulic rods were fouled. But when you do put this down, when you pull it down, you got to pull the safety lever out so that it can slide into this hole right here and kind of get you, you know, get your your hood back down here. I'm gonna clean out in the bottom of here. You can see all this mud and stuff that's kind of collected over the course of 20 years. And then we're gonna get going on this hydraulic handle here, this joystick. Okay, so to start off with this, what I did is there's some screws here. They're these kind of star screws right here i undid those um one two three i didn't want to pry this top apart here because it seems like it's more form so i kind of did that and then underneath here this is what got me to start off with there's these little i'll try and bring it in here a little bit closer there's these little kind of catches right here and uh you gotta make sure that you don't break those when you're trying to pry it apart. Now this guy here wraps around it. This is another interesting kind of thing that goes on with this right here. So this boot goes on here with, I kid you not, zip ties. They zip tie the bottom of it around the base here. Around the base here, they zip tie it um, let me see if I can get a good picture of it over here on this one. You see what I'm saying? They kind of zip tie it. It's really kind of ragtag. I don't like it very much, but there's not a lot that I can do about it. Um, so that's just how it's kind of connected there. So what I had is, as you can tell, it's dirty here. I had like a small hydraulic leak. And I'll be the first one to tell you if you have a small hydraulic leak, leave it alone. It's It's just, it's... The parts oh, cost me about six hundred dollars USDA to to uh, kind of to get, and they're just they're very they're specialized washers in there, and uh, they're specialized O rings in there, and it just kind of makes it to where you have to buy the new plungers and everything from from Cat. So um, the only tool you're really gonna need is this guy right here, right? And we start up here at this kind of, uh, this bolt right here. And we start up at this bolt. Now, if you, when you look at it here, I'm about to turn it around. When you look at it here, there's four of these little freaking bullet, uh, uh, plungers. This one in front by the solenoid, this is your solenoid. This one in the front here that is different than these other three, okay? So when I went to CAT and I got these uh, parts, this guy right here, this is my front one. I marked it right there. Now there's a whole bunch of actual little tools and everything right here or not tools, I'm sorry, pieces right here that go down into this shaft. I'm not replacing them. I'm just replacing these guys right here. Now, one thing to be cognizant of 
is this is hydraulic oil. So when you pull these guys out, all this hydraulic oil comes out with it. So you can, you know, put a finger in there and try and stop it and everything, or you can just kind of deal with it. So what we're gonna do, start off with, is we're gonna try and set this up here to where it's not really horrible and you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here as I do this. I'm gonna start with the front one because that's different than all the others so that I don't mix them up. These guys are super easy to lose. Just a heads up, they're super easy to lose. They really like to get lost very easily. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen this guy towards the front of the machine, right? Just like any other one. And we'll go ahead and, uh, it breaks free pretty easily. And if you'll notice, um, what will happen as soon as I break it free, and we start to mess with these guys, we get all our oil coming out. You can see though, that's water, but there's some oil and stuff down here, some hydraulic oil. Um, this guy just comes straight off. You guys heard that little, that little, the little uh, hydraulic oil coming off. Now listen, it was told to me and I agree with it. There's two spacer washers right here, okay? There's two spacer washers right there. Don't lose those guys because God knows cat's gonna charge you a ton of money for a new one. So this is gonna be real quicky, quick, easy, in and out. That's my plan, right? So I have the front one here. I'm gonna do that guy first. Now I have this super cool magnetic bolt holder that, uh, comes from the all-encompassing Harbor Freight. There you go. Push that guy down in there. She'll sit there when we have a minute. Now these guys will just wiggle right out. If they don't wiggle right out, guys, be really careful of these things. You can use channel locks. You can use whatever you want here, but I'm, Cause these are handy. I'm just gonna use these. And I'm just gonna wiggle these guys out a little bit here. Now, like I said, so I'm taking. I took the front one out, right? Now I'm gonna take these back ones out. As it was articulated to me, these are these have springs on them. So be careful that you don't freaking let those springs just kind of rock it out, or you're gonna be buying more parts. Uh, the cat guy was like, oh my gosh, these are so hard to do. So hopefully I don't, hopefully I prove him wrong. I don't make a mess of these things. I really don't want those to rock it out. Okay, so I screwed, kind of unscrewed those a little bit and then she came out. Um, I don't know why it's like that, but it did it. Now I'm gonna set these guys in crew, congruent order, front and then coming from the back where they're supposed to go, okay? Um, to be honest, I did not see threads, so I don't know why. I almost had to be unthreaded, but it looks like it's gonna fit right in there. I'm not replacing all the other hoopla underneath there, okay?
see how that one kind of popped off for me. A little bit of pressure there. And I gotta be honest, I don't know which one was leaking, but like most people, there comes my oil. Like, like most people, if you're going to get into it, you might as well, and you're in here, you might as well just, just do all of them at once, right? Why are we gonna kind of do a half, I don't wanna say a half-ass job, but a half, half job here. Um, I don't know which one was leaking, so. And of course, kind of overcast day. I wasn't really planning on doing this this morning. I was planning on doing it this afternoon. But, I gotta do some stuff with this thing. Like always, whenever your uh, machine is down, you gotta do stuff with it. But you guys saw the pressure there. Now, I'm not super concerned about this. Uh, about the seating back correctly. Because uh, there's like that base plate that you all saw that I took off. And it'll make it sit down there. I'm gonna push them in there though. Hopefully, then I'm gonna get my base plate on there. <clears throat> Ooh, that guy doesn't want a seat. And that might have been my issue. Okay, here's my two little washers. get that to set in there. I don't know why it's not. Come on, guy. Okay. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. See how she sets in there like that? Kind of what I want to happen. I'm gonna just good for good measure. I'm gonna hold that down there. All right, so I did exactly what I said not to do, which was uh, lose one of those little metal um, washers. So they're so light that blew down into a hole right here. So let's get back going on what we were doing here. his base plate on top of it here. It just kind of requires like one finger here to kind of hold it down. Oops. See? We're gonna push that in again here. There we go. And the 
should depress once we get all these washers in and everything. There's one. There's two. It doesn't make sense that it should go in any order, so I'm not worried about it. my life right there boys and girls both washers okay so I might have the alignment this hole wrong why not So what happened is I dropped this joystick and it broke off this little ball uh, that connects this piece of metal that attaches to the top of the solenoid. Um, this little flat thing that here that you see in the red pan, that is hooked onto a pivot point and it connects to the top of the solenoid which executes and puts into play the automatic float button button or the self-leveling float for the for the bucket there I never use that option on the joystick so what I did after I was done is I put it all back together got everything lined up and uh, I don't use that option so I'm just not gonna do it it's about six hundred dollars for that new piece and I'm just not willing to do that um, thanks again hope this helped